Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Always forget. All right, y'all let me know when y'all come on in. Today, I just want to talk about, well, I'm, I'm hoping we can share some tips on how to get a jump start on your spring garden. Um, I got kind of slack because my fall garden was still like producing stuff. I'm harvesting stuff. And then I forgot I need to be starting some new stuff. So, hey, y'all that are coming in the room. Hey, K-Natural. Hey, Happy Mac. Hey, Experimental Gardener. Hey, that bourbon that you suggested and those beans you sent, they are getting so much more flavorful. Um, I haven't, I haven't like used it to cook yet because I'm almost feeling like it's too good. It's too good. So whatever I use it for has to be extra special. So, thank you again for sending me here. <laughs> Losing track. Losing track. Hey, Resby. Hey, Blessed Queen. Hey, H Hildred Lewis. Hello, hello. Hey, Victoria. I'm glad you caught me live, too. Thank you for joining. Hey, Miss Shirley Williams. I know I talked to my mom today. <laughs> I talked to my mom today and she told me how bad the weather was and I felt bad because I had literally just um, texted my sister like, oh, it's such a beautiful sunny spring day. I miss you. This would be like a perfect day for us. Like we would go to the park or something, do something fun. And then my mom was telling me it was snowing. I'm like, oh, I just sent that message and it's snow. Um, yeah. And speaking of my mom, hey, Ma, hope you doing well. So she told me she watches my videos, so I got to give her a shout out. So y'all give a shout out to my mom. Um, and oh, oh, here's a good question for those of you who have been around for a while. There's a tree in our yard that's named after my mom. So if you know the name of the tree, say hello to my mom, y'all. So, hey, broke farmer. Hey, hey. Oh, y'all just go call her Mama Liz. Some of y'all might know. It's a, it's a tree. And she lets off the best, the best lemons ever. And I'm not a lemon fan. Not Bonita. Bonita is a persimmon tree. It's the lemon tree. So those of y'all who know the name of the lemon tree, I don't know. I might need to make that a um a contest or something. But yes, thank y'all for saying hello to my mom. Uh, on Valentine. Yes, that's right, Miss Weens. Bless Queen. Y'all know. That's my mama. Yes, Miss Lillian. That is my mama. Hello, Ma. I hope this makes up for the last video when I was talking about your phone. <laughs> I was just being silly. Y'all, y'all was about to get me in trouble. Yes, Anthony, that is my mom. So y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. I know it's snowing some in some places still. I know it's cold. And I know like thinking about a spring garden is like the last thing on your mind. But that's even more why I want you to start thinking about it now. Because some of us here you know in in the 7b and 8a and up it's spring the daffodils then then sprouted out they've bloomed the magnolias the um it's the one variety of the magnolia the pink ones those have bloomed the azaleas are starting to bloom it's spring it is spring the uh there's pear trees that are blooming and it's it's some other it's stuff is blooming i think the blueberries are blooming so now for some of us like for me i'm kind of on the lady end you know 
I mean, I'm, I got fortunate because, um, you know, my fall stuff is still doing good. Y'all, this broccoli, I cut the broccoli. And it's growing back. But y'all tell me if y'all want to see it. If y'all don't want to see it, I won't, uh, <laughs> I won't put y'all through that. <laughs> I love showing off my plants. But yeah, so I got some more, um, some more broccoli from the broccoli that I harvested. The broccoli that, you know, it snowed, but that, I'm from Ohio. I know that wasn't no real snow, but it was fun. It was fun. It gave us the feel. I'm going to give y'all a close-up. Hang on. I just, I got my little charger set up and I don't want it to fall. All right. So, I'm about to show you the stuff that I cut. You can see where I cut it and it's healed over. And now I got, boom, one, two, three. They're not the fattest, but it's broccoli. This is one. And here's some more. Um, this one is just starting some new. It's not that cold. It's like I put the coat on and I start getting hot. So the broccoli is still doing good. Look, this one, I, I miss this one. Although this is some good broccolini. What is this? Oh, this is a leaf. But look, it's got some new shoots coming down there. I'm going to harvest that and I'm going to eat that. That might not even make it into the kitchen. Uh, and then check out my... my um kohlrabi is trying to get fat come on kohlrabi come through yeah so that stuff's doing good um i have already harvested the red mustards once and they're still doing good i've got some some other stuff this stuff is still kind of sad but i'm hoping this spring weather is going to give it all some new life so yeah and I got a new um, raised bed over there I'm starting. I'll share a video about that as um, soon as I get it finished. So, oh, sorry. I'm not trying to flash y'all. So, yeah. That's what's going on over here. And then I got what I call my grocery store garden over there with the, uh, with the garlic and stuff. I'll show that off um, in another video I'm doing. But, um... It's not that it's cold. It's it's like, I don't know. It's that time of year where it's cool, it's hot, it's cool. The sun come out a certain way. It just depends, so. But yeah. Hey, Jay Weezy, I'm sorry, y'all, pardon me. It's that allergy time of year. So yes, hey, Magic Mia's yeah it, it did bounce back um it really just kind of i'm gonna tell you the biggest thing that happened with the broccoli was that uh uh the leaves turned purple i guess from that cool from from the from the snow and then um i cut it and it was like it just started shoot, sending out shoots like soon after so it didn't take very long for it to uh push out some more uh shoots so I'm going to just keep cutting the shoots off and see how long I can get it to grow. So, yeah. Um, you can eat all of the kohlrabi, Happy Mac, the leaves. In fact, if I make it, uh, if, if I was going to make it, I would never. When it's time for that to be harvested, that whole thing, I'm going to chop up the, the bulb into like, you know, chunks. And I'm going to put the whole thing all in. Um, I want to try a few different things with it. And I got some that's on my porch also. I actually planted the stuff on my porch earlier. But it's in a container. So it's almost like it definitely does better in the ground. So I probably won't plant it in a container anymore. Unless it just all of a sudden take off. If it all of a sudden take off and then they somehow catch up, then okay. But yeah, it's been in there for it was at least a month before I planted this. But yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all for joining. Hey, Shalane. Hey, October Opal. Hey, James Franklin. Linda. Linda LRB. Hey, Miss Native Cherokee. Hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah, see, that's why I said some of the stuff don't even make it in the kitchen. Hey, Carmela. Hey, Star Jackson. Hey, hey. Oh, it's Carmelita. I'm sorry. See, when I look at my phone, it's too far away. I need to just look down here at this iPad and <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, some of this stuff, I, I just start eating it raw before I even get back in the kitchen. So, but yeah. So, um, I was out here um, trying to get a jump start on things. Um, I have to do it in phases. So, if you, you know, when, when it's time for you to do your garden, if it's not time for you to do it yet, think of the phases. You know, don't try to do everything in one day. It's just too much. I mean, well, I don't know. It depends on the size of garden you have. But for what I'm doing, I got stuff going on over here with the broccoli stuff on the back porch. Um, I got my grocery store garden over there. So it's like I got to I, I have to chunk it. You know, I have to I have to deal with it in chunks. And that's not even that's just the garden. That ain't even other stuff I got to do. Like it's bee season now. Like and it seems early. Things are early this year. Spring is early here this year. So, so even if it's still snowing where you are, what are you growing? What are you gonna grow? Um, I brought. I, I was out here um, working on my patio garden. I added some more soil in the beds because the soil compacts and it was like half. I'm like, where is this dirt even going? But so I was out with my favorite. Getting my lettuce. This is my new favorite. This this was this red sales. I have nothing but good stuff to say about this red sales. This red sales was that lettuce that the snow had covered, and I thought it had was gonna kill it, and it still was rolling, and I still was able to harvest some after that. But this one, this is the one that I was growing indoors in the hydroponics, and I never really got a chance to do a good video of that. But this one is my new favorite. If you can get you some new new red fire, get you some. It's the bomb. It really is. The leaves are so mild and crunchy. And yes. Yes, yes. Hey, love notes. Hey. Hey, uh, A -A -A AAA plus Bedford, Texas. <laughs> hey, Troy Harold. Hey, real fresh food. Okay, you got you some red cells. Um, yeah, I love I love them both. Obviously, I'm not gonna give up one and just totally leave out the other, but it's nice to have them together. Okay, so Love Nut Love Nose has her some some butter crunch, some Swiss chard, and okay, some butter crunch lettuce and some Swiss chard some swiss chard that i was trying my hardest to grow and it wouldn't do nothing i think it was too warm and so i put it in a pot and i just kind of stuck it like i really kind of was putting it in a pot to kind of die but i guess because i put it in a pot and i moved it under um my my trays over there i guess the shade helped it and it has been alive this whole winter. I just been pinching leaves off. And then I just discovered I got some seedlings that I have not planted this, this season. So I don't know. They're from, I don't know. Stuff is just growing over there. I just harvested a whole bunch of um, what I thought was kale in my kale bed. But it tasted like cabbage. It's just been growing. Like, you know how stuff goes to seeds and then the pods? crack open and you know so it planted itself basically i love it when stuff plants itself because then that means i ain't gotta do it right but it was so good it was so good oh my goodness i, I wasn't expecting it to be that good to the point where i wish i had a like at least recorded me harvesting it but you know can't go back in time but it was good so hey grace jines have I ever grown artichokes? I tried, but I think I started it too early. And then when I finally got it outside, I think 
the heat just I, I'm pretty sure if I had a planted it later and let the heat do its thing it would have been fine but I don't know it, it, I'm, I'm gonna try again because I want to see if I can do that I want to you know, see if I can sorry honey you okay over there I'm good I'm good um but yeah I'm gonna see I'm gonna try again y'all give me some artichokes tips for real if y'all y'all know how to grow artichokes because I'm sure I did that very wrong I started it way too early and I kept it um in the house under a grow light and I should have up potted it and I didn't it really needed to get out so so yeah okay some bib lettuce awesome yes that's let that's just another variety of lettuce um yeah i love all the varieties um the ones that you can get in the grocery store i had those in the tray on my back porch and that those did really well in fact i think the ones that i obviously the ones i planted outside did better than indoors but i still was able to harvest several times so all right chris white has some romaine okay no luck okay so far you got about an inch all right um keep in mind lettuce lettuce is a cooler weather but it's not a cold weather like lettuce will die before like kale can survive some 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 freezes whereas the lettuce can't so but it's still a cool weather thing. So if you try to grow it in the summer, it doesn't really do well. Um, okay. Putting things in a lot of shade. Some ca Okay, carrots need shade. Oh my goodness, somebody sent me some, some dark purple carrot seeds. Oh, I'm trying to remember the person's name so I could thank them. I can't remember right now. So if you're here and you sent me those dark purple carrot seeds, thank you. I can't wait to plant them. Now, carrots is one of those things where I have had luck with the greens and then I pull a carrot out and it's like, <sighs> so I'm gonna try again this spring. In fact, I, I need to get those seeds started like tonight or tomorrow so I can see but y'all give me some carrot tips oh okay Tanja sow the seeds directly in the soil okay yeah okay okay hey Tybee you're new here but you're not late you are right on time, Tybee. Um, you got some seeds and soil from the Dollar Tree. Any tips for soil besides adding eggshells to the soil? Um, as far as soil amendments go, um, organic matter, coffee grinds, um, the, all of that stuff is good, right? But here's the thing. You, you should make sure your plants are a decent size before you start worrying about, you know, fertilizing them. Oh, yeah, mushroom compost is good. Composted horse manure. If you want to see some stuff grow like crazy, get some composted horse manure. No, it's not still. It doesn't stink. Um, now, the black cow stuff, I yeah, that's going to smell weird, but... It all works. It's, it's better chicken poop, composted chicken poop, all of that. And here's the other thing. We don't waste anything. You know, if, if it's anything, any kind of um, leftover vegetables, leftover eggshells, leftover coffee grinds, leftover banana peels, we don't put that in the trash. We put that in the garden and we don't even do anything fancy most times. Sometimes we just dig a hole and plop it in. That's it. That's it. Hey, my friend, Reba Patterson. 
your carrots and onions luck is the same oh okay um you know what i think is that the soil needs to be really well tilled and loose and i was putting them in containers i don't think you should do care things like carrots things that make a bulb under the ground they really need to be in the ground for real or in something that's really really deep and then if you're putting it in something really, really deep, that means you're going to need a lot of soil to fill that thing up. So you got to keep that in mind. But that's what I think is the issue. Okay, Grace is starting some endive Batavian lettuce. That just sounds fancy. That sounds like the kind that's in those restaurants where the whole plate with just a few leaves of that cost like a hundred dollars with some little sprinkling of some uh rare vinaigrette <laughs> that sounds super fancy i hope they grow well for you grace hey y'all it's heart you're in detroit and you're excited yeah so like if you're in detroit okay you see the, the spring is weird there and i know sometimes it can be cold all the way up till may but if you think about it right now, it really is about to be March. So technically, you can go ahead and get seeds started indoors as long as you got a plan for where they're gonna go and there's not gonna be a delay. Now, what I mean by that, um, see, you probably don't do this because you probably, you know, be on your stuff. But sometimes I get behind and I get all excited with the seeds starting and I have all these sprouts and nowhere for them to go. In other words, you really kind of need to have your ground already ready so you can just, but so that's another thing I'm gonna do this time. Um, rather than getting the stuff started first, I'm getting my ground together, I'm getting my trays together. Um, I'm doing direct sowing in the trays right now if that doesn't do well, then in another week or so, I can tell if, if stuff is gonna sprout on its own outside, I'm gonna leave it, let it sprout. But if not, I'm gonna start some things indoors that I'm gonna put in the trays. Um, there's some things I'm gonna put in my raised bed. Um, so yeah. Hey, homestead in the hood. Hey there. Okay. All right, Love Notes has some onion starts. Rehydrating, okay. Get your garlic ready, all right. Okay. Oh, see, Star Jones. I'm sorry. Ooh, I just gave you. <laughs> you like the celebrity Star Jones, no. Star Jackson, I'm sorry. I just saw the J in my brain. You're in zone five and you're starting your tomatoes peppers and herbs okay now zone five because i think ohio is like six or something like that but that may be fine as long as you have the space indoors and the resources the lights to keep them growing it's all good it happens a lot okay <laughs> hey legacy homesteading Okay, welcome, welcome if you are new. Somebody told you to subscribe, okay. All right. That's so nice, I don't know who, but, huh? Who said that? Uh, Legacy Homestead said, I was told to subscribe to Lady Led because she's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to whoever told you. Tell them I said thanks and welcome 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 so you in detroit got your yeah go ahead and get them seedlings started right now so like i said do it i'm doing things in phases so today i got my i got some some lettuce seeds so some new ones so from a hydroponic so i'm getting the old stuff out that kept you know i've harvested and harvested and harvested some more and they're starting to get you know long and getting ready to go to seed so i just went ahead and just got rid of them so I'm getting some new stuff, put it in my hydroponics. 
so I can just have an abundance. Like I literally made it through all last fall without having to buy any grocery store lettuce. And that says a lot because there were a lot of times I went in the store and if I had a needed lettuce, I would have been mad because there wasn't any. So I'm so grateful that my lettuce was just booming all fall. So I'm gonna try to do that again. It kind of tapered down. I didn't do the success the succession sewing. I'm not good with the succession sewing because it's like I get busy and then I'm busy just trying to keep the stuff I got alive. And then I just forget. I neglect to sow new seeds until it's too late when so it got too late. So gotta start some new seeds. Okay, hey, lovely lady, got some bell pepper plants. Hey, Zuli House, gonna start some bell peppers too. Good, good, good. Hey, Andrea C. Hey, Rucker Homestead. Oh, so glad you are finding what we're doing helpful. We just, you know, really, sometimes you just need somebody to talk to gardening about and everybody don't love gardening so when you can get around some people like y'all and sh we can talk about garden, that's exciting to me like nobody else wanted to see my broccoli like think about it i'm talking to if, I, if my neighbor walk up to me and like hello you know and the first thing i say is hey you want to see my broccoli <laughs> they'd be like what no <laughs> no but y'all were like show us the broccoli show us the broccoli there she goes. Hey, whole new perspective. I got your package. I got it yesterday and yesterday was busy so I didn't open it yet, but I wanted to let you know, thank you. We got it and I am gonna open it and give you an even more thank you, personal thank you <laughs> at that time. But yes, thank you. It finally got to us. <laughs> thank you. Hey, B Crouch. Yeah, you know what? You know, uh, if if you know me, I'm the the alarm on my phone queen. Yes, I am. However, I'm at a point where it's too many alarms in my phone, and so it's almost like I think I'm gonna have time at three o'clock on Saturday to plant stuff, and then something else happens. Um, so yeah, I, I put alarms in my phone, but I've been slack. I've been ignoring them. <laughs> I had one go off when I first started this live. I don't even know what it was for. <laughs> I will look at it later if I remember. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. Hey, day one MM. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the recipes. Hey, I made those pancakes again today. So today I decided, okay, I'm going to do mostly almond. Somebody gave me a tip to put it in a blender so that it would be finer. I did that and I added maybe a spoon of cassava flour just to kind of give it just a look. Listen, those pancakes today. Then the ones I should have made in the video. <laughs> but I'm telling you now so you can make any adjustment you like. Use the blender. Use the blender. It makes it so smooth. And I just did the whole thing. I started with the with the almond flour dry and I just put it on chop and I let it chop a little bit. Then I put um, the ingredients in and you know, the, all the other, and I just let it all mix together in the blender. I normally don't eat pancakes. Who, who said that? Uh, Jay Brown. Oh, they, they, they talking about the pancakes? I'm talking about the pancakes, yeah. Did you tell him about today, though? Yes. Okay. Okay. He has some, too. Yo. So all I got to say. <laughs> Listen, try, if you haven't had pancakes in years, and if it's because of health reasons, because I hadn't had any in years either, but I decided to just, you know, experiment with some different flowers, some healthier flowers. So almond flour is a healthier one. 
Um, I didn't really want to try it with the coconut flour. Coconut flour kind of tastes like coconut and I didn't really, it's not a bad flavor, but I wanted it to taste like a pancake. So I did that and I had found, I found some, um, some syrup made with stevia and monk fruit. It was, a, um, it was a weird flavor. I was kind of scared. It was like a peppermint chocolate flavor, but I ended up really liking it. Not as thick, um, but that didn't matter. I hadn't had pancakes in years, so these last few rounds have been awesome. So yes, give it a try, y'all. <laughs> hey, train stop on L Street. Okay. Broccoli and stuff is doing well. So you're going to start some new stuff for spring or are you just going to let the, the other stuff ride out? Hey, Monique Walker. You new. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Yeah, we got to stop that procrastinating. Yes, yes, yes. Honestly, I almost made that the title of this live. How to stop procrastinating because I, I kind of was. Um, but, but honestly, sometimes it's not that you're procrastinating, it's that you got a lot going on. So I didn't want it to seem like that because I wasn't, I'm saying I was procrastinating because I wasn't getting it done, but I wasn't getting it done because I had some other priority things that I needed to get done. So, but, but, you know, it only takes a few minutes to, to sow a few seeds. In fact, the sowing part is the easiest. And if that's to me that's the easiest and then when i see them sprout that's the funnest part now then we get to the wonk 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 part where you gotta water them are you laughing at me uh, I'm just laughing. <laughs> what i wasn't ready for that i had a serious thought in my head and then you want <laughs> well that's how you feel when you realize it's been days since you watered something and you go in there and everything is leaned over. You gave all your heart sowing these seeds. They sprout and you do the happy dance and you celebrate. And then you forget to water them one time. So it's like a mad dash when once they sprout. It's like you gotta, you gotta keep setting those alarms. <laughs> <laughs> taking care of stuff <laughs> yes yes so i'm so glad y'all are growing oh you're in spartanburg monique okay second year growing i hope your garden does well that you have so much stuff that you got to give stuff away um that you don't even have enough space that it's just like you can be like here y'all want this and not even care here, give the other stuff to the chickens. Here, take some. Pickle some. Can some. Freeze some. And then you'd be like, okay, I can't freeze, can, or pickle, or do nothing else. So, that's when you know you had a good growing season. <laughs> so, yes. Ooh, maybe make it like date night with your garden. I like that. Hey, precious SoCal. I'm so glad you caught me live too. Hey, Soul Power. I'm sorry for those of y'all I missed as you came in. I'm glad y'all have joined me. So good to have a chance to chat with y'all. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I see y'all conversation about figs. And, okay, if you haven't already, you know, seen those videos of the figs that the wasp pollinate, that'll grow, it totally gross you out, right? Have you never wanted a fig? But most of those varieties aren't the ones you're growing. Um, I think most of the varieties that you, I'm talking to y'all. Hey, Elisa Conde. Hey there. Hey, Monique Robinson. Oh, do I feel that gardening is therapeutic? Are you serious? Ab 
absolutely. Listen, it's some days I don't want to get out of the bed. I feel like going back to the bed, putting the covers over my head, and then I think about my plants. And then I go, it, ooh, a bug fit me right in the face. And then I go in my grow tent, or I look out the window. I do a lot of peeking out the window. Like, I'm a baby stew. Oh, okay, they looking good, all right, we good. Oh, thank you, Be Rich. Thank you. Be Rich? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, and that don't even, that's just me starting my day just peeking in on things, right? Don't let. I just thought of a video I have not published. What? The purple angel trumpet. Then I see something growing that totally amazes me. Some variety I had no idea about, kind of like my kale on my back porch. Something is sprouting that wasn't sprouting before. Uh, some cross-breeded thing. Uh, I've had that with melons before. Listen, talk about happy dance. Like, nothing is more exciting than that. <laughs> nothing. But yes, it's so peaceful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, instead of sowing all the seeds, read the back of the package, see how long it'll take. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, homestead and hood. In fact, I was talking about that earlier, about chunking things, doing things in phases. So, um, yeah, I'm only working on lettuce and kale right now. Um, everything else, I, I'm going to, you know... I, you know, I've got to have my, I've got to get my okra when it's time. It's not even time. It's no need for me to even start those seeds. If I start those seeds indoors, they're going to be ready to be um, in some real sunlight. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be time. So maybe in another couple of weeks, I might be able to do it if I do it in the grow tent and get the, but I got plans for, for some seed sowing in there. So I don't know, but yeah, you got to think about that. Um, you get overwhelmed and and then things die and that seeds wasted that's another thing try not to over sow it's so tempting because you always feel like but what if these don't sprout it's better to to keep your eye and like every week just sow some new seeds than to sow them all at once and let them go to waste because then you won't have any more Oh, there's my friend being special in, in NYC. Hey, advocate of choice. That is my friend. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family are enjoying your time together, working on your goals. We must chat. We must chat and catch up soon. Hey, Grammy midwife. Yeah, see, she's been busy transplanting and, and planting all day. So when is the best time for okra? So the beautiful thing about okra is it loves heat. So anything less than for real, for real heat, and it's going to grow really slow. So that's why I'm not planting any right now. It's no need because if I plant some right now, it's not gonna do anything outdoors. If I if I sprout some indoors, it's gonna shoot up real fast and it's gonna need to go outdoors. And it may live if I plant it outdoors, but it's gonna stay the same size and do nothing. The bugs are probably gonna start messing with it. It needs heat. So when is the heat here gonna start? Like late April, May? That's when I'll be planting it. And I'm, I'll probably direct sow because it grows so easy. It's no need for me to go through that whole process like I do with other things. Get it started indoors. Make sure everything is okay. Then transplant outside. Nope. I'll just get my, get my ground ready over there where I normally plant it. And 
just direct sow the seeds i might i might do like 10 plants just because i'd be impatient <laughs> i might start 10 plants indoors maybe maybe first part of april i don't know i don't know y'all i keep telling y'all you have too many things on my plate i'm saying i'm gonna do it <laughs> we shall see we shall see but yeah that's a good question Hey, $25 for a five-foot apple tree. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. Awesome. Okay, you re-sprouting your sugar cane. Hey, yes, it's a mess garden. Okay, so so your the so the, the sugar cane we sent you, you grew it last year, and now it's re-sprouting again. Is that what you're telling me? Because that's the bomb. I, I, that's the bomb. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, Journey to the Homestead. Anyone ever grow a canary melon? I have not. I have not. Oh, thank you, Angie Seaway. Yes, um, the, the B-Class recordings. Well, okay. If you were a part of class, you already got the recordings. Now, if you weren't and you want to get the recordings, that is something that um, I can arrange. Um, but I just need to know. So send me an email. Um, Ladyled73 at gmail.com. I'm trying to type it. So pardon me. Oh, oh, I did all that wrong. Delete, delete. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, whole new perspective. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, got her some whole Cardi Brussels sprouts going. Good, good. All right. Okay. Grammy midwife has some sugar cane rooting. When should you plant it outside? When it gets um I'm going to say mid to late April if it's if it's warm. Um you might even get away with early April. Um let me chime in with the sugar cane uh king. Hey, when is the best time to um put the sugar cane out? Uh, down here right now. Right now? Yeah. So it's not too cold? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. As soon as I get done moving that stuff from that topsoil, I'm going to put our cane down. Okay. Well, y'all heard it. I stand corrected. I just ain't put it down because I ain't prepped it yet. That's all. Oh, okay. All right. You got three fruit trees and they're growing gooey stuff. Why is that? Um, see, I'm not the tree. I'm not the tree whisperer. See, lead farmer is the tree whisperer. What does it mean when gooey stuff is on trees? When green stuff is gooey on trees. stuff is oozing. Is gooey stuff oozing out of a tree. They might have a peach tree bore. It sound like is it a peach tree? Uh, is it? I don't know. If it's a peach tree, he said it could have a borer inside. Might have, you might have a peach tree borer. You got to dig that out with a knife and then put alcohol in it. Ooh, that's... Okay. Or, or uh, uh, olive oil. Drown it out. Smother it. Refer to the uh, the tree whisperer, Lead Farmer 73. See, I do... I do... Or or Google it, but I... See, I do the, like, plant plants. He's the tree whisperer. I just... I just, like... I like stuff that, I don't know. I don't really understand trees. <laughs> I love them. Like, I love this this pecan tree back here. I'm like, please give me some pe pecans. Um, yeah. I got a date palm tree that I'm trying to grow. I got my ginkgo biloba babies. And I got another one. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah. All right, let's see. I'm sorry I'm missing y'all comments. 
Hey, Lacey Weaver. Okay, journaling and using a grow calendar helps her so she can keep track of last year's crops. That's, that's wise right there. You know, I used to do that. And then, I don't know, you know how it is. You, you used to do wise things and then for some reason you forget to do those things. Like, why? Why did I stop doing that? But yeah, that's, that's a good thing to do. All right, Miss Native Cherokee is aiming for mid-April for her sugar cane. All right, Shirley Weems got sugar cane and pomegranates sprouting. Awesome. Okay. All right. You live in the peach state and had the hardest time with the peach tree. I, I feel you. I feel you, lovely lady. Just keep trying. Don't quit. And it might not even be your fault. Sometimes it's the plant. Like, for real. Sometimes it just is. Don't quit, though. Um, maybe about a year or so ago, I did a video about my rosemary bushes, how I did the exact same thing to two. They're literally both grown on my porch. Did the same thing. One was really beautiful and healthy, and the other one was looking sad and dead in the middle. It wasn't all the way dead, but it had a bunch of dead branches in the middle. I don't know. It just... And then, guess what? They swapped. I don't know why. Now the other one that was healthy looks weird, and the one that was not healthy is healthy. I don't know. Sometimes you just do the best you can do and keep it going. All right. Hey, Sharice Barnes. So it's too early, too early for okra. What else is it too early for? Well, I would need to know what grow zone you're in. But here in 8A, um, any like sweet potato stuff that needs that heat. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't get the sprouts going indoors because I just put some sprouts and some... Um, some water to root uh but i wouldn't put them outside yet especially march is weird here sometimes we get through march and it's perfect it's warm it's spring and other times we have these windy cold snaps and then you come outside and stuff is looking bad melons it's too early for those to be outside and starting them indoors, that's, I haven't had luck with that because they get, they wanna grow and, and they, they get really big really fast. And then if you have nowhere for them to go and it stunts their growth, then when you finally put them outside, they don't do well. So you gotta keep that in mind. Um, so, so yeah, so too early for okra, it's too early for um, sweet potatoes, too early for melons. Uh, probably good time for winter squash if that's what you want to grow. Things like acorn squash, butternut. Um, what else? I don't. I don't grow all the things most people grow, so that's why I'm having a hard time thinking. Um, yeah, yeah. So y'all chime in, so y'all can y'all can add to that list. <laughs> Hey, Linda, Linda Lanone. Oh, that's a good tip, Trey Kylie. Find your local agriculture ch uh, chapter. Yeah, you find a, the grow calendar for where you are. Cause really I can tell you whatever, but like right now, um, I told you, I was speaking with my mom and she told me it was snowing where she is. She ain't doing nothing that I, she can't do nothing with what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, so it's totally different depending on where you are. You got to keep that in mind. Okay, so March is weird in, in Florida too. Okay. Hey, hey, Sylvia. Thank you for joining us. Hey, hey. Oh, no. Lisa's journey is snowing where you are. See, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. So, yes. 
Okay, Monique, I will I will check on that. I will check on that email. Hey, healthy G mom. Too early for corn, says Elisa. See, I don't even grow corn. So I'm so see that's what I'm saying. Y'all share with each other because just because I don't grow it, that doesn't mean you can't, doesn't mean you don't need to know. Hey, Miss Fitz from Pennsylvania. Hey there. Okay, Healthy G Mom is in Los Angeles. Hey. Hey there. Oh, you can't stand it. You want to grow. Um, See, when I get like that, I start things indoors that I can. You know, lettuce is like my go-to. Super easy kale. Um... Yeah, I, I try to start those leafy things indoors. You could do spinach. Um, so, yeah. Corn starts in August in Texas, Candy B says. Wow. I can't even imagine. But okay. Yes, it's a mess started her corn indoors. All right. Ah, I usually have a cold snap in Georgia. Okay, where October Pearl is. I'm, I'm sorry, October, October Opal. <laughs> I just gave you a whole nother gym. <laughs> okay. You started seeding your Meyer lemons, working on cucumbers and carrots. What are my thoughts about cabbage? Right now is the perfect time to plant some cabbage. In fact, if you wait any later for those um, broccoli family things, the bugs, are gonna try to get them now if you're the type of person who can do the netting or something to protect them then go for it but now is the perfect time for all of that stuff uh broccoli kale cauliflower collards um i planted most of my broccoli family stuff in um fall because the bugs don't attack as much so i was i let our stuff kind of go from the fall to the winter and and it'll continue into the spring um and then i'm starting some more kale not any, i'm not gonna start any more broccoli but i'm gonna start some more kale um i'm trying to think maybe some maybe some cabbage i don't know but yes you can start those now <laughs> okay but yes, yes, yes. Okay, Healthy G Mom is growing everything inside her apartment. She got some black eyed peas, potatoes, collard green. Now, see, I would love to hear how those potatoes go. Because I I just I don't know how how you would how to compensate for the fact that you gotta keep putting dirt on them and and how well will they produce? So if you tell us how well your potatoes that you grow indoors produce, that would be awesome. I would love to hear about that. Okay, and you're going to make some vinegar soon. So you got all these people making vinegar. Got their houses smelling like ghost food. <laughs> vinegar makes it smell like you're cooking something, but you're not. That's... Oh, he can't even hear me. He got his earbuds in. That is teasing that just teases your whole family okay blue basil lemon balm oh yeah those are good things to start indoors holly toba welcome welcome holly toba all right yeah direct sold the lettuce okay oh yeah radishes are perfect for now and they are like the quickest things to grow um okay spinach yeah and keep okay be able to cover them if it frosts good oh wow you got them in 10 pound grow bags okay okay yeah i would love to hear how those do all right okay see i love that y'all are sharing those tips about corn Okay. See, Happy Mac 
were you growing regular potatoes or sweet potatoes? Because, yeah, sweet potatoes, oh, the leaves would be so beautiful. In fact, sweet potato um, leaves, you can find those as houseplants. Like, sometimes they have them as houseplants, but they're really sweet potato, vine. But, yeah, if you don't get them in the ground, because what has to happen is they have to be, you got to kind of keep covering them up and so they can shoot out those um I don't know what it's called that starts the potato the they send out some type of shoot that starts the the potato I don't know but you got to keep you know putting dirt on them and stuff oh what about beets oh now is a great time if you're if you're where I am now is a great time to get beets going um in fact if you wait too much longer you may run into the bug issue might not have enough time for them to, to grow their bulb plus they don't like heat so if it gets too hot too fast yes thank you journey to homestead it's called to slip <laughs> yeah you got to keep covering up the the slip part okay they're red and white okay okay Um, and if you didn't plant garlic or your onions in the fall, now now is a good time. Just understand that um, they may not get as big because they need. I found out they need a really long time, um, far longer than a one one season. They kind of need to go through the warmth of the fall, the cool of the winter, and then the warmth of the spring at least what what i'm seeing because the ones that i plant in the spring they almost never look worth anything by the end and then i just leave them to the next time hey soil sister yeah don't <laughs> don't play with those wild animals goodness man if it wasn't for this fence around this broccoli i'm telling you them geese they tore up my brussels sprouts over there they had a field day um, with the two uh, bin. Well, it's not a bin. It's grow, two grow bags that I had. They just went over there and just ate them. And I just, I didn't want to do anything mean to the geese. So I just said, okay, I'll just try again next time. <laughs> just try again next time. But yeah, that makes you want to do something mean, but don't be nice. Be nice to the wild creatures. Hey, Brenda Baldwin. Oh, you don't have to keep putting the dirt on them. Try a, I'm thinking you're saying a 15 gallon bucket or try one five gallon bucket. Plant it four inches from the top. Bury it another 12 inches. Okay, that's some good tips. I don't, I don't really eat regular white potatoes. So I, I kind of don't really grow the things that I don't um, eat a whole lot of. So, yeah, we did potatoes. Um, oh, it's been a long time, the last time we did potatoes. And they did really well, but we kept healing them up, kept, and we got quite a few. And they were a nice size. So, yes. What about the deer and the groundhogs? Okay, we don't have groundhogs. We do um, sometimes have deer. Um, in the past, I've tried doing a fake fishing line fence where they can't see. Like, you got to do several rounds of it. Well, that's kind of annoying to kind of keep trying to get over and through. Right now, we just got this um, cattle paddle, cattle panel makeshift fence. So far, it's working it's not even that high the geese aren't bothering anything and the deer aren't groundhogs i don't know so y'all y'all if y'all know anything about groundhogs give her some tips give her some tips okay holly tova's got some store-bought lettuce and iceberg lettuce ends growing indoors as well as celery yes listen if you can regrow it regrow it You'd be amazed. 
how many times you can keep harvesting something you bought one time. So that goes for that that lot, that living lettuce, heads of lettuce that you can root, romaine lettuce that you can root, um, onions. I'm gonna show y'all my grocery store garden in another video, but yes, do it, do it. Yes, yes. Oh, you two, whole new perspective. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. In fact, I'm getting ready to get out of here because. Even though the phone makes things look nice and light, it's it's starting to um the sun is starting to go down. So bugs are starting to um fly around. It's really like bugs and mosquitoes out already. Already. But yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, beavers. <sighs> Shh, don't say beavers around here. You don't want to know nothing about a beaver. They ruin trees. In fact, they've ruined our crepe myrtle tree over here. They've taken fruit trees, countless fruit trees. And it's such a heartbreaking feeling when you look out your window where there's supposed to be a tree and there isn't one. There is a little stump left. So, I, I'm, I'm really like, I'm so tired of these beavers. I am so tired. I, we, what we're doing is we, have, we do notice that the trees that have the protection uh, fences around them, they don't bother with those as much. So, that's what we got to do. We just got to make sure we keep everything protected from the beavers. Yes, yes. I know. It's, I'm like, but guess what? It's other trees. It's a whole thing of trees across the creek. Go, go get them. Like, I don't, I don't have nothing against that. Just leave my fruit trees and my nut trees alone. And the myrtle was is the bees when it blooms. The bees use that. So. Uh. Anyway, we are going to get out of here. <laughs> but I hope you all get a jump start on your garden. Do it in phases. Don't try to do it all in one day. Prepare the soil first. Like, don't do this. I've done this. Because, you know, on a day like today, it's beautiful. Make you feel like spring. And you go to the garden center. You buy all these plants that you are supposed to plant. And you realize when you get ready to go plant them, you need to till the ground or you need to move some other stuff out of the old pots that you thought you were going to put them in or the buckets you thought you were going to put them in. And then you don't. I got a whole tray of um, dead Brussels sprouts that I never... I didn't get a chance to plant them before they died. And you know, if you leave a plant in those little tiny pots too long, I don't care how many times you water them, it's just not enough space for them to grow anymore. So, get get your soil prepared first. Get whatever, where, if you're gonna put them in containers, get your containers ready, get your soil. Um, get all that first. Just have it ready, because the planting part is super fast. Saw some seeds and some dirt, super fast. So, and then, like someone suggested, if you need to uh, succession sow, like lettuce or peas or beans, put it in your phone. So, that is all. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of this, of this Saturday. Um, enjoy your evening. Get some rest. And no matter when your spring season grows, I hope everything grows abundantly for you. Do you have so much stuff, you don't have nowhere to put it. You, you eat it, you store it, you can it, you freeze it, you give some away, you give some to the chickens, you compost them. That's how productive your garden is going to be. So until next time, y'all, it's Lady Led. 
Have a good night, y'all. Bye, Miss Miss Native Cherokee. Bye, SK. Bye now. Bye, Lisa's journey. Bye, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Good night, garden highlights and worms. Good night, so soil sister. Good night, Reba. Bye, B Crouch. Bye, plant seed, not litter. Bye now. Y'all be blessed. Oh no, Effie. What what question did I miss? You got a few minutes. I'm still here. I'll see if I can find it. But go ahead and put it in the chat, Effie, if you're still there. Bye now. Bye, Terrence Dwayne Bay. Bye, Grace John. Oh, you're in Washington State. When can you bring out your fig tree? Uh, fig trees should be able to handle... Uh, they should be able to handle the cold. Now, I don't know how cold it is where you are, but... Um, Effie, look up uh, what what your grow zone is and then look up what the variety uh, of your fig tree, what grow zone it needs. You could probably put that fig tree out now. But I hope it goes well. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right. Y'all have a good one. Oh, bye everything fresh and sassy. You're looking for my chicken video. Um, let's see. Oh, that's that's gonna be back in 2020. Uh, I'm trying to look real fast. Let me see. Um, I can't find it. Mm. Email me fresh and sassy and I'll try to find it for you. I'm just trying to look through real fast, but I don't see it either. All right, we're going to go, y'all. Bye now. Oh, the how to hatch one. Oh, I haven't published that one yet. I actually have to edit that. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Oh, that's a lot of love right there. All right, now. Y'all be blessed. See, y'all Y'all just make this too fun. Y'all make it where you don't even want to leave. Bye, Miss Fitz. Good night. Bye, Star. Bye, Just L. I'm going to get that video fresh and sassy. I'm going to edit it and get it together. I was looking crazy in it. That's why I didn't. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get it together. Bye now. <laughs>